Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how you can install Perl on Macintosh or uh, more likely how to install Eclipse to work on editor uh, for writing Perl on Macintosh. Uh, first of all, uh, as I said in our lecture, uh, you can run Perl automatically on Mac because Perl comes with Mac. Uh, you can try this by using the terminal. So if I click on the terminal, and just check if Perl is running. Uh, if you write Perl V, as you can see, it gives you the version of Perl, which is version 12. That means it's working fine. So really, you can use a command line and work on Perl. However, if you want to be more fancy and you want to use uh, an easier way to work with Perl, uh, there is the environment I like a lot, which is Eclipse, that you can use it with any uh, programming languages. So if you get used to it, uh, it's good. It's an advantage. Uh, there is a lot of uh, versions of Eclipse based on the, uh, the use of it. Uh, I will start uh, with the classic one uh, and I will install it for Mac. Now, if you have 32 bit or 64, you have to pay attention. In my case, I have 64 bit. Uh, I'm going to install it right now. So it is important to know that you don't need Eclipse in order to complete this course. Eclipse is not required. Uh, Eclipse is an integrated development uh, environment or an IDE. As such, it is useful thing, but a lot of developers work in different ways. And so if your preferred method of coding is to use a standalone text editor or a different IDE uh, or whatever, so do it that way. Eclipse, as I said, is not required. So this course about Perl, and as such, whatever editor or development environment you choose to use will work, and you will be able to follow along with exercises just fine. All of what said, let's go ahead and install this Eclipse now, uh, and and as you, uh, as long as uh, the installation is done, uh, as you can see, I went to www.eclipse.org uh, and then to the downloads, and from there you can uh, pick any version you want. Um, what else? Uh, after we finishing the installation of Eclipse, um, uh, we will get. Uh, a page that uh, different based on the downloads uh, so feel free to look at the other uh, also components of, uh, of Eclipse uh, for future purpose so let us now uh, stop the recording until the download is done so after the download is done I am going to go ahead and click on that and get this download started here and I should mention that um, uh, it runs, Eclipse runs under the Java environment, and the Macintosh, of course, comes with Java already installed. And if you have been running your updates, uh, Java environment on your Mac, so you can uh, check the update as well in Eclipse, and we can see it how it can be done. So. Uh, so the Eclipse is already now uh, extracted for me here. Uh, it's better to move it to the application, to my applications. So I will open the Finder, a new window, Control N, open the applications, and in my applications, I'm going to move the Eclipse. And I have one here. Since I did it before, it just says, and I'm going to close this one, that's going to replace it. Now, if I go and search for the Eclipse, inside the Eclipse, you will see the icon of the application. You just drag it to your dock station. And I already have it over here. Here it is. So let us open Eclipse. Usually, Eclipse comes with the default workspace. Uh, I prefer to give it a different name uh, based on the applications that you're going to use. Uh, in this case, uh, I'm going to go to my documents, uh, since this is in CS245, in Perl, I will just uh, maybe add some uh, new folder inside it, 
and let eclipse so i know that this is will be for working on exercises in eclipse and i'll say okay it's up to you feel free to name it the way you want to name it and you have the welcome page and i'm gonna close it now and uh, as you can see we are almost there since i used it before with java so it comes with java uh, however we want to make it work on Perl. so we are not done with the installation if you go back to the website you have to go to another website named www.epic-ide.org uh, on the downloads.php page and from there just copy this url there is a stable version uh, 0.5 and there is a test version i always recommend so control c i always recommend that you copy the stable version and not the testing version so let us go back to our website and also it's a good habit uh, to our clips it's a good habit to test if this eclipse is the latest version so usually you can check for updates just to make sure uh, that there is nothing new uh, to this environment of eclipse uh, has been done recently and as you can see there is some kind of update uh, and it's taking place now so always is good uh, to run this check whenever you uh, use eclipse uh, like if every week maybe at most every two weeks so you will be up to date with the latest uh, uh, plugins for eclipse as we say it's an ide ah, here it says no update were found so that's good uh, now uh, we want to install a new software which is a pearl in that case uh, i have to paste this url that you saw me uh, copy it and just say add and i'll name it pearl and i'll say okay and it will take some time in pending, uh, but will work afterward. So don't worry if it takes some time, it's gonna work uh, afterwards. So don't close the application. It up to the internet speed as you can see it came so I will say next either your internet or the services provided from the Epic website okay you have to accept the terms and then you finish and the installation is going to start shortly It is recommended after the installation is done. Yes, when you get this message, actually, content unsigned container, we trust uh, the third party of Perl, so they say, okay, don't worry about it. So you, most of the time, restart the Eclipse after the installation of Perl, it's recommended. Okay and it saved the place that we decided to put our workspace you may say Juno, you may see Juno or different type of Eclipse, it doesn't really matter so this is the environment that we're gonna work uh, what you have to do as you can see here from Java uh, instead of that we're gonna use Perl so change the environment automatically you will have the uh, Perl environment available for you so we are ready now to use Perl. So let me maximize. So we picked our respective to be for Perl instead of Java. And now what we're going to do, uh, we're going to pick a new file or a new project. So from new, new Perl project. Give it a name. So Perl 5 training. okay and inside this folder i'm gonna right click and create a new folder 
what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give you some exercises in Blackboard and you're gonna put this exercise folder inside one of your directories and just would like to refer to this directory immediately so let's go to the advanced and from here link to a location and just to browse and from here for example I have exercises simple file and just say open and finish so as you can see we have a couple of examples available for you so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna open those sample I will pick hello.pl the Perl example and from the run I will click run and as you can see I was able to print hello world very simple command line just to print double quotations hello world close the quotations and semicolon okay this is just to test if your parallel is working fine we're going to see the same example with pc thank you